what's up guys we are back with another video if you are new here my name is sammy and we are the mermaid gang this is where you can come and suspend your disbelief i am a manifestation coach so if you would like for me to help you dissolve whatever's between you and your manifestation go ahead and sign up for the waitlist below how do i know that i'm doing it right sammy how do i know well, you make the rules, sis. Bro, you make the rules. You guys, a lot of times when you're not seeing results is because you're doing something and you're like, am I doing it right? Or you're trying 500 different fucking techniques and you're just like, is this one working? Is this one working? Is this working? Is this working? Am I doing it right? Did I visualize this right? Did I breathe this right? Did I meditate long enough? Did I affirm long enough? What? Did I say it right? Did I say the word no in my affirmation? Am I gonna fuck it up? Did I just fuck it up? I just got mad. I just got sad. Did I fuck it up? Did you? You tell me, cause you're the boss. Whatever you, whatever you decide works for you, works for you. That's why even though LOA rules are fucking stupid and all this universal shit is fucking stupid, it works for some people because they believe it. Whatever you believe works for you, works for you. If you believe standing on your fucking head is what works, that's the key, that's your key, <laughs> then sis, that's what that's what it's going to be. So if you want that SP, you want that money, you better stand on your fucking head. Because that's what works for you. Because that's what you believe. <laughs> if you believe drinking that magic water is going to work, well, that's gonna work. That's what you believe. It's what it's what you believe works. Everybody's different. Joseph Murphy and Neville are both trained by Abdullah. Joseph Murphy focuses on affirmations. Neville, we all know he was a visualizer. He visualized. Neville had a student that could only do the telephone technique. She couldn't see shit. She couldn't visualize. But she could hear. She could hear people's voices. That worked for her. It's whatever you believe. So if you decide this is working, then it's going to work. If you decide this is working rapidly, this is going to work rapidly. If you decide that this is not working, or if you decide that it's going to take a long time, then that's what it's going to be. You have to decide if it's working or not. You have to decide that no matter what I do, no matter how many times I want to put somebody's head through a wall, no matter what I do, it's working. It's working. I always get what I want. I always get everything I want and I get it when I want it. You have to decide that. See, when I was younger, well, I am again. But when I was younger, I was a spoiled ass brat. And I believed that everybody did everything for me and everything was easy for me and I never had to do any hard work. And I never did. I never did. Everybody would volunteer to do everything for me. It was ridiculous. Because I had that assumption, I had a spoiled ass mentality. It's whatever you believe. If you believe everything is easy and everybody caters to you and you don't have to lift a finger and everything comes to you quickly. The, I have clients that come to me and say, I'm really impatient, but I know I just need to wait. I need to, I need to get some patience. I need to manifest patience. Why? Why would you want to manifest patience? I don't want patience because I ain't trying to wait. Why I'm going to waste my time manifesting patience when I could spend my time manifesting what I want. I don't want no patience. I want my shit. I want my shit. And I want it now. So I have the assumption that I get what I want quickly and easily. And so I do. And the more that you experience your manifestations, the faster and easier it is going to be. A lot of people also ask me, do I have to feel my affirmation? Do I have to believe them? No. You just have to believe that affirmations work. You just have to believe that it works for you. 
You just have to believe that it works for you. Some people have the assumption that they can't manifest. Not understanding that you can't stop manifesting. You cannot stop manifesting. You're always manifesting something. It's what you're manifesting that's the problem. Decide now. Everything works for me. Whatever I do, it works for me. Some people ask, is scripting okay? Yeah, if you enjoy it, go for it. Some people ask, is it okay to visualize? Yeah, if you like it, go for it. Do whatever you enjoy, but never try to force a technique to see if it works. If you're going to do a technique, then decide it works. It's basically a placebo effect. It's the same thing. That's what a placebo is. It's just the belief in something that it works. Just like the damn sugar pill. If I gave you a sugar pill, but you don't know it's a sugar pill, but I tell you that this is your cure. Your mind thinking that that's the truth, even though it's just a sugar pill, your body is going to be restored. It's a placebo. That just made me think of the movie It when the kid found out he doesn't actually have allergies to everything and he screamed at his mom <laughs> that these are gazebos. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I'm going to leave that in. I'm not even going to cut that out because this is how my brain works. Whatever you think works, works. Whatever you think doesn't work, doesn't work. So decide that it works. You ain't got to ask me if you're doing it correctly. As long as you're affirming, it works. As long as you're affirming. As long as you're thinking from the reality you want to be in, you're Gucci. If you want a script, script. I don't like scripting. I don't like writing. I don't, I don't like doing that. It makes my hand hurt. I don't. I used to believe that if I didn't visualize, my shit wasn't coming. And so it didn't. But then when I figured out, all I gotta do is affirm, cause see, I'm the type of person, I'm trying to do the bare minimum to get what I want. The bare minimum. I don't like having to work for nothing. Sorry. I don't want to work for it. I sh if it belongs to me, I know that it belongs to me, I should be able to have it. So I decided everything works. It works for me. Affirming works for me. That is what works. That is the key. Changing your thoughts is the key. I don't like working for nothing. I don't want to work for it. So I assume that everything comes to me easily and effortlessly. And so it does. And whenever I needed to manifest money and I had the assumption that money was hard to manifest, I could not manifest money because I just went through all this shit where everybody just told me I just had so many living beliefs and I had to handle this and I had to heal the inner fucking child and I had to do all this shit. I had a terrible assumption that money was hard for me to manifest. But when I decided money is the easiest thing for me to manifest, whatever you're struggling with, decide and affirm that it is the easiest thing for you to manifest. My SP is the easiest thing for me to manifest. Money is the easiest thing for me to manifest. Jobs are the easiest thing for me to manifest. My body is the easiest thing for me to manifest. Whatever it is that you want, knowledge. Knowledge is the easiest thing for me to manifest. Everything is easy for me to manifest. Everything. Decide that everything is easy. That's all you gotta do. Just decide. Just decide that everything's easy. Whatever you choose to do, whatever thing you choose to do to get those new beliefs into your mind, just decide that it works. Don't give it the option to not work. That's the thing. Stop questioning. Stop questioning. You're the boss. <laughs> You're the boss. You decide what works and what doesn't. So decide that whatever you enjoy doing, whether it's visualizing, telephone, scripting, or affirming, 
decide it works. Decide, assign the meaning that if you sit a certain way, you gonna get what you affirm. It doesn't matter. You're the boss. Whatever you decide works, works. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we out.